I asked him about the president saying the day before that the Republicans are holding the American people hostage to get tax cuts for the wealthy. He basically called you a hostage taker. Excuse me, Mr. President. I thought the election was over. You know, you got to allow that heated rhetoric during an election. But now it's time to govern. Do you think that his tone will make it more difficult for you to come together as we move forward on issues, or are you just flicking it off? I listen. I've got thick skin, and a lot of words get said here in Washington. You just have to let them run off your back. See, the president was having a tough day. You're so understanding. I have a tough day from time to time myself. But later in the interview, it became clear that the president's jab about hostage takers had bothered him. There's, there have been moments of disrespect shown to President Obama. Well, there was some disrespect, I would suggest. It was shown to me yesterday by the president. The most powerful Democrat and the now most powerful Republican are sizing each other up. They may have exchanged more words via television than in person, and most of them have been, shall we say, unfriendly. And look at how this bill was written. Mr. Boehner was the one who urged Republicans in the House to vote as a block. Hell no, you can't! Against all of Mr. Obama's initiatives, health care, the stimulus, and on and on. And he escalated the attacks during the campaign. Your government is out of control. Do you have to accept it? Do you have, Do you have to take it? No! His strategy of defiance worked, and on election night, in his victory speech... This is a time to roll up our sleeves. The public saw something they probably never expected from Mr. Hell No. It was called the sob heard round the world. I spent my whole life chasing the American dream. We learned two things that night, that the speaker-elect is one emotional guy. I put my... Myself through school, working every rotten job there was. And that if and ever there uh, was an American dream story, right. up from nothing, yeah. it's John Boehner's. Does this look like it looked when you were a kid? Oh, kind of. to the bar to go to work? Kind of. Kind of? Yeah. He spent his childhood working here at Andy's, his father's bar in Redding, Ohio, a factory town outside Cincinnati. You worked here from the age of... I was about 10 years old. We got to be about 9 or 10, and we came in on Saturday mornings with Dad and, and uh, mopped the floor, uh, helped cook breakfast, uh, clean up the dishes, wash the windows. There they are. 